our emotions, for example, how would we measure emotions? Our heartbeat. So our emotions affect our heartbeat. So the Heartman Institute and other great organizations around the world, research centers around the world, uh, done a recent study. What they done was they had these subjects, people, on front of these computer screens. So they sat in front of computer screens and they, te they measured their heart uh, frequency, they measured their heartbeat, and they measured their body temperature with sensors on their fingertips and so on that could measure sweat and body heat. So the heart's being measured, the body heat's being measured at the same time. And in doing that, on the screen in front of them were going to appear random images. Adventurous images, happy images, or horror images. So the subjects sat in front of the screen and everything was being measured so we could see what they were doing and see what they were thinking and see what they were feeling. The images started to pop up on the screen. It was just random, so the computer picked the image and decided horror, horror, adventure, happy, happy, horror, adventure, happy, 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 adventure, and so on and so forth. And after a period of time, they started to get a signature between the image, a familiarity between the image and between the, temp the, the person's body temperature. So as a horror image came up, their body temperature would rise. As a beautiful image came up, their body temperature would lower. As a horror image came up, their heartbeat would, would increase. As a beauty image came up, it would decrease and so on. So now, there was a biological signature to the person in accordance with the image that was appearing on the screen. A singularity, if you like, between both. So they started to create this signature, this footprint of the image in the person. After a period of time then, the person was predicting the next image that came up, not just one, but the whole group of them were predicting the next image that was coming up. They weren't consciously predicting it, but they were emotionally predicting the image that was coming up, and their heart center was predicting the image that was coming up. So in other words, if their heartbeat was low for an image of beauty and their body temperature lowered for an image of beauty, well, five seconds before each image was coming up after the experiment started, their body temperature and their heart rate would come into alignment with the image five seconds before the image came up. So therefore, were they predicting the image and was their heart center and their emotions, because remember, emotions affect the heartbeat. So emotionally, beyond emotions, and I like going, I, I'm happy to talk about emotions, but I want to get deep down into the rabbit hole. I want to get deep down. I want to drill down into what this is all about. So in drilling down into that, it seems that the heart center was predicting what was coming up and reflecting that in the emotion of the subject, or, or was the heart center creating the image in the computer in the first place? Either way, it doesn't make any difference. We are greater. You are greater than you've ever been led to believe that you are. In other words, change your emotion and you can predict your life. So in other words, what that experiment is showing, and I've never read this in a book, I, this is just, you've got to be getting this right here, is this, is that you change your emotion in accordance with the future that you want to create, and not only are you predicting your future, in the emotional experience right now, but you're creating it before it ever comes about. And that experiment is absolute proof of that's how powerful our emotions are, right?